welcome back to the vlog. Um, we're currently about to go to Home Depot. We're gonna get some supplies to build a headboard for our bedroom. There's two shelves that are floating on the headboard. The headboard's gonna be how, well at least for us, what we measured and what you know we wanted is gonna be 10 feet long by three feet high. So we just have a base bed frame, so it'll sit on the base bed frame and then we'll attach it to the wall like that. It'll be good, so we'll just take you there. We're going to Home Depot to grab all that. Hopefully it comes out really cute. I saw it on Instagram and fell in love with it and I was like, uh, we should build it. Yeah, no, she sent it to me. It, look, it looks good, I like it. All right, let's go. So we got the supplies for the headboard. So it's 16, one and a half by three quarters. And I mean, you could use anything. We got red oak just because we like the way it looks. Um, I'm gonna cut this down and we'll make these. I'll make the little shelves that are floating on it out of that. And then we picked the paint color, which is comfier green, I guess. It looks lighter in person a little bit, but it's a really pretty green. And then some stuff to hang the headboard with that'll sit on top and then some screws. This is what we will begin with. At the end, it'll be a headboard. But yeah, we are going to begin. So, we are doing the headboard today and the dimensions that Kylie wants is she wants it 10 feet wide by three feet high. Do you want them to go past, like taller than the three feet? Do you want them to be, or what do you want them to be? Three feet exactly? Cause they don't go over, right? They just. Yeah, they're just holding it. Okay, so I need to make those three feet then. Okay, so let's start with, we're gonna do the three feet high. So we'll mark three feet, we need two of these. But we'll go and three feet. Is that good? Yeah. Come on. Yep. Okay. How many were in that one? Because we're just building a bed frame that, or not a bed frame, a headboard that Kylie saw online and she wanted, so we're just gonna build it. Does that one have three? It didn't show the whole thing. It could have had four. I mean, because if we did three, we'd just do one on the end, right? It was probably like a foot in from the end. Yeah. And then you could do five feet and then foot in from that end. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I feel like that would be still sturdy enough. So, there's one. So there's one, two, and three, right? There's three, um, <laughs> three, three slots. So we want to do five. So we need two more three footers. Man, this one is freaking. Got the whole bendy going on. Wow. Slats, right, for the back. Perfect. Good. Okay, so the picture has 22, but we don't have 22, and I don't think they did it differently because we're doing it this way. They did yeah, it this like way. That. Yeah, so let's spread these out a little more. So 
you can't really tell right now, but because it's all these bigger over there because I just moved one side. But they're going to be pretty similar to this close together. So, let me start the first one. One, two, three, four, five slats. So, every two feet will be a slat. Yeah. So, it'll be two feet, a slat, two feet, a slat, two feet, boom, two feet, boom, two feet, boom. Because that would be, it started, it'd be like this then. If I did that, Kai, this would be at the end, which you don't want, right? Yeah. You want it to hang off, right? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Then maybe we start a foot in, then two feet. Yeah. There's three, then two more feet. It's five, then two more feet, seven feet, and then one more, four, eight feet. So then we'll probably do them two feet apart in the middle, but one foot from the end. Right now I'm gonna screw in the five slats on the back at the top, and then we'll measure down from there how many we need. She wants to do an inch in between each, so we'll see if we even have enough. If we don't, then I can always just trim off the bottom and make it like just under three feet tall. Because realistically, like three feet's a pretty big headboard, and we bought things to hang it, so if it doesn't touch the bed, we can just hang it, and you still will get the same illusion. But all right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna start doing that right now. Intermission, she's gotta go on the sling. She has wet diaper. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no. Split it. Do you think they'll all split? I don't know, we're gonna find out. <laughs> That's why we have extra then, right? Exactly. Shh, shh, shh. Damn. Oh. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nothing's going our way today. Okay, let's see if that'll help us out in any shape or form with the splitting issue. Okay. Yay! So I'll just pre-drill pre it right before. Perfect. So that works. drill bits broke. I'm kind of frustrated. It's such a simple little thing, but it's really annoying. Alright, so right now we are about to do the two shelves. So, we're doing... They're like little cubbies. So I'm gonna build two of those. The headboard, the rest of it's done. It looks good when it's on the bed. Do yeah. you like it? I love it. I think it's super cute. I can't wait to, cause we're gonna paint our wall and the wood finish is gonna look so pretty against it. But there's just two little floating cubbies. That way she can put whatever she wants in them. Now we're gonna take the bed frame to the bed. Yay. Right, and we're gonna try to see what are you looking at? Here it is. Finally done. We're gonna paint the wall a really pretty greenish color. But yeah, once the wall is painted and everything, I'll decorate it a little better, maybe with some like twinkly lights. But Gavin added these little cubbies. And now we have storage in here and of course above here. Which was Kylie's idea for the cubbies because originally we just talked about having, having little shelves. a shelf. Yeah. But I feel like that would be much better. And I like it way better, if I'm being honest. Me too. The cubbies look way better. You and like eventually, it? yeah, oh, I love it. Um, but eventually, once like the room is done, done, we'll just do a master bedroom reveal slash tour thingy. I don't know. Which it's really small, but. It's, so, it's small. But we are trying to make it as like ah and cozy as possible. I really like these cubbies. That yeah, was a good too. idea. I like them way better than the the shelf. But yeah, that was the. And how much did we spend on um, material? Material. 
Um, hundred. Yeah. So this headboard like hundred dollars was a hundred bucks, and to get a headboard like this would not cost a hundred bucks. It'd be like way more expensive, for no reason. So you know. And it was fun. It, it was, was a cool. lot of fun. I mean, you did all the work, but it was fun watching. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the official headboard making, right? Yes. Look how little. <laughs> I always have to change the camera angle. Cause she cares about camera angle, not down. Well, <laughs> we all can't be as beautiful as you, Gavin, who looks great from every angle. <laughs> hey. I'm just fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the headboard. Yay! Okay, bye guys!